Hello everyone, it's Wednesday the 4th of November today. Really beautiful message about forgiveness. Today I send loving thoughts to everyone, even those whom I think of as enemies, because love and forgiveness heal. So beautiful. Love and forgiveness heal. Love conquers all things. Love heals the world. So when we're operating through love, fear cannot penetrate. And fear creates harm, it creates worry and panic and anxiety and it leads us into a dark place. And when we're in a dark place we feel that people are hurting us, we feel that people aren't understanding who we are and we may feel like we've got enemies, that people are attacking us or showing us a part of themselves that we don't like too much. So we worry that people just don't understand who we are. So the angels are saying to you, remember that everybody is learning, everybody is growing, everyone is healing and hurt people hurt people. So if you see someone as an enemy or someone who is attacking you in some way or not understanding you or who doesn't like you, hurt people hurt people. So take a step back and instead of reacting, respond from a place of love, from a place of understanding. That doesn't mean that you get walked over. It means you know that you have the power because everything that happens to you is neutral. Everyone that says something to you, the things that they say are neutral. It's the way you perceive it that makes it good or bad. Nobody has power over you but you. Even if someone's saying the most hurtful things, if you rise above it, it can't affect you. It can't affect your beautiful energy field because you're surrounded with love and light and the angels are with you and Archangel Michael is shielding you. So if someone's having a go at you today, <clears throat> they're giving me a blocked throat chakra. So there may be misunderstandings today, miscommunication going on because maybe someone is hurting, so they would rather attack you and try and hurt you than be vulnerable and open their heart and show their weakness, what's going on within them. Thank you, angels. They're saying what they see as a weakness, because vulnerability is not a weakness, it's a strength. And when you're operating through love, it's a sign of power. So if you don't react to people, they may see you as weak, they may think that you can't stand up for yourself, but you're standing in your power because you're operating through love and love conquers all things. Love conquers fear. So the angels are saying to you, don't rise today to things that could drag you down, that could drag you into darkness or drag you out of your light. Operate in the light, stay in the energy of love and remember that if someone's trying to hurt you, they're only hurting themselves. So don't take anything personally today. There's a lot of trigger energy around right now. Between now and the winter solstice, we have to stay strong. And Archangel Gabriel is giving us power to stand in our truth and to stand in the light and speak with in, like, integrity and authority and in a loving way. And Archangel Michael is shielding you from harm. So today, send loving thoughts out to everyone all around the world to people that you may think of as your enemies because you've not got no enemies. People are here to grow you. If people are touching your buttons, they're here to grow you. So you can ask yourself, why does this affect me? What is this teaching me about me? What am I learning about myself in this moment? If you want to react in a hurtful way, why? Because someone's hurt you, so do you want to hurt them back? And the revenge doesn't serve, it's a dish that's served cold and cold isn't warm and warm is where the light and the love is. So the angels are reminding you to stay in the light. Jesus forgived everyone. Jesus was battered and beaten by his own people. Heinous crimes against him that he didn't do and he forgave them. He said, Father, forgive them, they don't know what they are doing. So a lot of the time when people are hurting you, they don't know what they're doing. When your twin flame, your divine masculine is hurting you, they don't know what they're doing because they're operating through fear, not love. So always remember that if someone's hurting you, 
They are operating through fear and they are not operating through love. The next time you feel pain, you're not operating through love. You're allowing yourself to feel emotion and pain that can be illusion. So the angels are saying to you, you have the power. You are the master of your emotions. Take control. It's okay to feel. That's what we come here for. So feel the emotion. Feel the pain. Feel the feelings. But don't live in that. Take control of them. And don't react in fear or pain or hurt energy. Respond with love. Thank you for giving me fear. So a lot of fears coming up today. And there's a lot of crazy energy around today. You know, in the UK, we're about to go into another lockdown. We've got the fears of what's going on in the world right now with the pandemic. And not only that, with the economy breaking down, changes at work, changes in relationships. So much change going on, but it's all happening for the right reasons. It's happening to grow everyone, to evolve and learn everyone, to teach everyone what the truth is. And that's the light. That love conquers all things. So today the message is love and forgiveness heal. Okay, bitterness doesn't heal, it creates more bitterness. You know, anger doesn't heal, it creates more anger, more negativity. So if you're living in the light and you're operating through love and you're raising your vibration and you're seeing things positively and you're changing your perception to understand that everything you go through is healing you and teaching you about you, then you are evolving and growing and ascending to the next stage of your life. But if you're operating in negativity and fear, now's the time to take hold of that fear and to change it into power, power through love. So forgive everything today. It heals, love heals. And send love to everyone, especially anyone you think has hurt you or done you wrong, because they are just hurting. And they were doing the best they could at the time with the experiences and the information that they had. Everyone is growing, everyone is learning, everyone is hurting. Remember that song by R.E.M., Everybody Hurts, sometimes. So we have to remember that. Something is always going on behind the scenes. So be very empathetic today. Be very kind. Be very loving. And be loving towards yourself. And if you feel that you can't get through to someone, someone is hurting you and they just can't have the vibration lifted in that moment, take yourself away. Take yourself out of the equation. Because you don't need to be around that kind of toxic energy. So put yourself into the light. That's where your power is. So you have the power today. This is a long one. So I'm going to do a card too. So because of this, what animal is around us all today? Wow. Wow, look at this. We've got the, the crow in this magic there. And the crow reveals secrets to us. So this may be a secret that's been revealed to you today. Wow. Okay, hurt people hurt people. Think about all the times that you've lashed out at someone. It's because you've been hurting inside. So remember that today, trust in who you are, you know your truth about all things. And the magpie, or this crow, because they're giving me a magpie too in my mind. So magpies and crows today, are a, the secret's being revealed to you, they're showing you magic. And magpies are beautiful birds, okay? Some people think they're bad luck or they're unlucky. I see magpies as beautiful birds, inspirational birds, revealing things to you, showing you the way. Because magpies are attracted to things that glisten or things that glitter. And the angels are saying to you that they are showing you where your treasure is. And that's love and forgiveness and happiness and joy. Associated with life's mysteries, a crow has chosen you. She will support you in developing your power of sight, transformation and your connection with life's magic. A sign of luck, but also associated with the trickster. Let the crow make you aware of deceiving appearances. So remember, if someone's lashing out at you, it's a deceiving appearance because they're hiding their hurt. So you're seeing the truth in all things today. You're transforming. Trust in your intuition. Trust in your psychic abilities and your strengths. So you're finding your power today and you're being led towards the light. Have a great day, sending you so much love and I'll see you soon.